Hi everyone. In this video, let's see what are auto closures. And that means we must have seen this in, in your projects in your closures. Let's see what does it mean by this auto closure. So let me take a function uh, which triggers an event after some time. Let it be an integer and I have a completion handler on completion. I want to do something. Let it not take anything. Let it not return anything. We don't need and let me take a global counter variable. Let's say for 10 seconds. Now I want to call this method after the value of counter on completion. Technically, what I want to do is I want to reset this counter. So this is what I want to do. So this works perfectly fine. But as this is the only thing I am doing, uh, if there is a possibility, can I pass it as an argument like this? Can I? No. Why? Because this cannot be converted to this why because i just have a single statement if i have an opportunity of passing this statement that i want to get executed on on completion which is very convenient it, it's just for the convenience now here comes the auto closure so here if i put it as auto closure now I can do this stuff after counter on completion I want to do counter is equal to zero is it yes it is possible let's call this on completion now after before calling this method let's print counter after calling this method let's print this counter if i run it before calling it's 10 after after calling it it is zero why because i'm passing this statement as a closure auto closure that means it's just for the convenience but we should not be using it too frequently uh, otherwise it will become the code will become very messy if it is a single line of statement something like this i think we can use it not a problem um, let's say just in case and not only doing some stuff for example it, it returns int let's say it returns int value so here undoubtedly i can pass return counter also let me put it inside braces and returns integer value okay i can i can pass counter as the parameter Why? Because it returns this returns this this counter. If you want to see, let let let's say this as value on completion. Let's print this value now. If I run it. return that means this closure has to return something I'm returning the counter so when I call this it returns this so even the parameters also we can we can we can pass it that means if we if we are having a single line of statements in, in our closure body instead of writing the closures and the bodies uh, 
we can use this auto closure which unwraps what we are passing so it's just a convenience and as i said don't use it very frequently in your code yeah and i hope that this video is helpful which is on auto closures and what is the use of this auto closures thank you